Well, first of all, I want to wish everybody good morning. Welcome to the city of Brockton, City Hall Plaza, the People's Building. Today is a special day in the history of Brockton. We are honored, honored, truly honored to have Mayor Dagberto Lacona Cortez. Mayor Cortez is here today. Thank you, Mayor. We welcome him with open arms. Uh, I was just told the story about the relationship between Honduras and the city of Brockton, Massachusetts. Forty years ago, a woman came here uh, to create a business and chose Brockton. And for, uh, 40 years later, there are 200 residents here from the same town in Honduras. And they're constructing a plaza in that town right now called Brockton Plaza. So the relationship is real. I want to thank all the elected officials that have joined us today. I want to thank the city clerk, Tim Cruz, for being here today. All of the uh, city employees here today. Of course, uh, uh, Grupo Caracol, thank you, thank you. We also want to thank Cyn Cynthia Hodges, Lady C&J, for the wonderful desserts that we'll be getting today. Uh, the Honduran community and others attending today. Today is really, as I said, a historic day. We are welcoming and celebrating the visit of Mayor Cortez to the city of Brockton, the city of champions. Recognizing Hispanic Heritage Month here in the city of Brockton, the Commonwealth of Massachusetts, today is the first stop of future stops the mayor has taken. But Brockton was number one. They'll be going to Florida, they'll be going to Texas. But the first stop that Mayor Cortez chose was the city of champions because it means so much to him and his community. He has served 16 years as mayor, and we welcome him. Really, what we're recognizing today is fostering a wonderful working relationship. I already met with the mayor in my office and told him that I, I would welcome the opportunity to go to his, his town to see the wonderful people that make up his community, ensuring here in the city of Brockton that all residents at all times feel welcomed and represented in Brockton. So I'm going to take a moment before the mayor comes to the podium to recognize and introduce a wonderful, talented group of musicians that are here today. Again, Grupo Caracol. Uh, the music they are performing is uh, uh, Punta. Uh, they, uh, they are a uh, Garifa Una music group based here in Massachusetts. And uh, at this time, Grupo Caracol will give us a quick demonstration of the music. We'll listen, the mayor will speak, and then the wonderful performance will continue. Please. Unbelievable talented musicians. Thank you. Thank you. At this time, we're going to be entertained in a little while with some further further music. But I do want to again recognize uh, Councilor Suna Castro is here. Thank you, Councilor. Councilor Tina Cardoza is here as well. I don't know if there's any other city councilors here. So at this time, it really is my honor and privilege to present Mayor Cortez with an official 
mayoral citation, Mr. Mayor. Brockton, City of Champions Mayor's Office, official citation. Be it known that the Mayor of Brockton hereby extends his congratulations to the Honorable Mayor of San Vicente Centario, Dagberto Lacona Cortez, in commemoration of your leadership as exemplified by your willingness to visit Honduran contemporaries who are now integral members of the success of the city of Brockton. Thank you, Mr. Mayor, for visiting the City of Champions. It gives me great pleasure to present this citation to you as a symbol of our appreciation. It's duly signed today, the sixth day of October, 2021, by myself, Mr. Mayor, Robert F. Sullivan, Esquire, Mayor of the City of Brockton, Massachusetts. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. At this time, I'm going to, uh, again, invite Mayor Cortez to say a few words. Uh, and again, we will, uh, we will then uh, go over collectively to proudly uh, raise the Honduran flag here at the city of Brockton, uh, and then we will be entertained again by further music. Mr. Mayor. Buen día, honorable señor alcalde de Brockton, Massachusetts, Estados Unidos de América, Robert F. Dullivan. Hermanos, hijos de San Vicente Centenario que viven en este, esta bella ciudad de Brockton, Massachusetts. Es una alegría saludarles en nombre de los 500 habitantes de nuestro amado pueblo San Vicente Centenario. cuna de mujeres bellas y de hombres trabajadores. Vamos a la traducción. Cinco mil. So, I'm just going to do my best to translate. Um, how happy I am to be here today uh, in the name of 5,000 inhabitants of our loving uh, San Vicente Centenario in Honduras um, with, that's home to Uh, beautiful, uh, hard-working men and women. San Vicente Centenario es un municipio pequeño de Honduras con una extensión terri territorial de 41.5 kilómetros cuadrados, en donde se alberga una población de 5.000 habitantes, se encuentra ubicada en la parte suroeste del departamento de Santa Bárbara, en medio de tres municipios Arada, San Nicolás y Santa Bárbara. San Vicente Centenario is, is a, a municipality uh, very small in Honduras within, with a, a territory uh, measuring in 41.5 kilometers um, where there is a population of 5,000 inhabitants. Um, it is located in the southeast department of Santa Barbara, Honduras, and it is Um, surrounded by um, municipalities of Arada, San Nicolás, and Santa Bárbara. San Vicente Centenario está rodeado de muchos cerros, abundantes flora y fauna. Investigaciones recientes revelan que nuestro pueblo es zona de reserva del colibrí esmeralda, pequeña ave en peligro de extinción. So research, uh, recent research has, has determined that, the, um, that their uh, town, uh, the, the zone where the Colibri Esmeralda, which is a, a small bird, um, is, is on the verge of extinction. Nuestro municipio lo riega el río Ulua, el río Macholoa y el río Aguagua los que hacen posible la agricultura y la ganadería en nuestra zona. The, the land um, is, is littered with a variety of rivers. Uh, one of them is the Ulua, Rio Macholoa, and Rio Aguagua, of which 
allows for agriculture and um, uh, plentiful farming. En su relieve de nuestro municipio se encuentran aguas calientes como también aguas termales que hacen más grande a nuestro querido pueblo. There is also um, waters that are, are known as warm waters that are a, a geological, uh, um, they are beautiful and, and um, they're, they're, uh, they're, they're native to our, to our area. La historia de nuestro pueblo se remonta a los años 1860, cuando de grupos de familia se instalaron en estas tierras conformando la aldea Los Limones. Esta aldea posteriormente, por gestiones del señor Catalino Díaz, que fungía como alcalde auxiliar en esos tiempos, hace las gestiones para crear los municipios. So, a little bit about the history uh, uh, of their town. Um, it was created in 1860 when a group of families um, made their way and, and made that their home. Um, Los Limones um, are, 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 are foundational to that area, which, is, which translates to the limes. Um, after that, after a while, it received the name San Vicente in honor of um, a, a Saint Vincent, um, and uh, ¿Cómo fue? Okay. Right. <laughs> eh, nuestro municipio, su nombre se debe a que por la religión católica dan un santo llamado San Vicente de Ferrer, y su creación fue en 1921. 100 años después de la creación de la, de la lectura del acta de independencia de Honduras y es así como se une San Vicente como el nombre del patrón religioso y centenario por la creación 100 años después del acta de independencia. No, lee la idea, la idea. Resume, lee. Resume. No, 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 no lo entendí bien. Uh, so San Vicente is a, a municipality that uh, uh, due to thanks of San Nicolas, the Saint Nicholas. Um, the, uh, the mayor of San Vicente, Don Catalino Diaz, successfully um, on the 18th of uh, January, 1922. Um, okay. 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 Right. He's gonna close now. <laughs> <laughs> en conclusión, nuestro municipio tiene bellezas y el cual le excitamos a ustedes que es posible nos puedan acompañar, porque el, el propósito de este viaje es eh, hacer una hermandad con esta ciudad en agradecimiento a las grandes oportunidades que han tenido nuestros hermanos aquí en esta hermosa ciudad de Massachusetts. Gracias. The main trip, uh, the main reason for this trip, uh, of which I butchered the translation, uh, is to say that San Vicente Centenario is a wonderful place, it's a beautiful place, and it's a place that they hope that the mayor and others will come visit one day, um, and, and they're very proud of, of their land. And um, yeah, it's the, the, the purpose of the trip is to create that relationship, that brotherhood, that friendship, and, and expand it moving forward. En agradecimiento y por la, este, la oportunidad que nos hacen, en nombre de la Corporación Municipal de San Vicente Centenario, hacemos entrega de esta placa de reconocimiento a nuestro alcalde Robert F. Dahl. Gracias. Muchas gracias, señor. I'm going to take a moment to read the plaque. It's a beautiful, beautiful gift. Uh, it's beautiful. Um, the Honorable Municipal Corporation, thanks for the hospitality and exchange between the mayor and the authorities of Brockton, Massachusetts, and the mayor of San Vicente Centenario for celebrating this inter-institutional encounter between two brothers, countries of our America. 
Our people of work, our people of working men and women forever are grateful with the people of Brockton, Massachusetts for the opportunity to let our children be welcome in your home. And it's signed today by Mayor Cortez, and it's again the sixth day of October, 2021. Thank you again, Mr. Mayor. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. So at this time, I welcome anybody and everybody that would like to join the mayor and I to go hoist the uh, wonderful Honduran flag. So again, I just want, on behalf of everybody that lives in the city of Brockton, the city of Champions, I want to thank Mayor Cortez uh, and his, uh, his accompanying party for welcoming, uh, welcoming uh, the Honduran community here in Brockton, visiting us. We are truly, truly honored and privileged. We also want to, again, um, the cookies over there, half of the cookies uh, depict the, the flag of Honduras. The rest of the cookies uh, depict uh, Hispanic Heritage Month. Um, and today we are going to be able to, uh, for the next uh, uh, half hour or 45 minutes or so, we're going to enjoy some wonderful music again by uh, Grupo Caracol. So thank you, thank you, thank you.
Thank <laughs> you.